Welcome in Laravel tutorial. In this tutorial, we will create a shell script or a command script to insert our CSV data in our database table. So let's proceed. So before we start this tutorial, let's see my present Laravel version. I'm just typing PHP artisan, and I'm just uh, using the like minus sign and giving here the minus P, the capital P. So you can see that my version is 8.7.1. So next thing we are able to see the php artisan available command after give this php artisan and hit on enter you will see your existing command in here so in here you can uh, you if you notice in here there is a make option and in this make there is a make command so you are able to create a new artisan command using this command so we'll just give this command in here so i'm just going to type php artisan and make and the command and the name of uh, my command so i'm just using here the csv the name of my command and hit on enter you will see a message that console command created successfully if you go in app directory and in here the console directory here is the commands folder and you can see that csv file csv.php file has created in here so this is a class of name class name is csv and you can see there is there some property called signature and the description and there is the two method one is constructor and it, this is the handle method in here so i'm just going to change the signature first i'm just changing it to insert csv because we will insert the csv file and second i'm just changing the description and making it to insert csv file for insert csv file like that so for save, if you just go in here and check your PHP artisan command again, and then hit on enter, you are able to see your uh, command in here in this command list. So insert CSV, this command uh, added in artisan command. So next thing, if you go in in your handle method, I'm just changing it to even here the print. So simple print that I'm going to give here called hello. And after save, if you go in here again, now if you just give your command that called php artisan insert csv, then you should see the hello. So we are seeing the hello. So okay, so we have created a Laravel uh, artisan command. So now it is time to read the csv file and insert it into database. I already created a database called uh, Lara invoice and here is a product uh, table that you are seeing and this table has some fields like id name details price updated and created and it's an empty table there is no any data so i'll just insert my csv data which i already created so if you go in here you will see the public folder here is the csv folder and this is the product of csv the data is in here so I will just insert this data. First one is the product name, description, and this is the price. So I will just insert this data in my database table. So let's go in here. And now at first we will assign the path. So for that, I will just uh, assign the path. I will use a variable in here called the path and I was using the uh, base path method. So this is the base path. So when you will write the base path, it will go in your project directory so in here we'll just concatenate the public directory because my location of uh, csv file in this public directory i'll just give here uh, the public then i will just give here the csv folder then i'm in product.csv file like that so there is lots of way to select a single CSV and also lots of way to um, take the all CSV files from a folder, not a single CSV. Uh, that means if there is in this directory there is lots of CSV file, then we are also able to get the all CSV file. So I will give this tutorial in the next tutorial. We will see how we can take all CSV from a directory and then how we can insert this data. So now if you just give a simple check in here if the file is exist in here the file uh, exists 
So we're just given the path name. That parameter will be the path. And then I'm just uh, uh, I will use the simple SPL file object uh, that PHP has provided. So if you see the PHP existing classes, there is the SPL file object in here. I've just given this link in my video description, so you can check in here. So we will use this SPL file object class. It's very easy to use. So let's go in here and our open our script and you can write here like I'm just taking and creating my new object for SPL. So I'm just writing that SPL file object, that one. And when we will write this in here, we will send the file. And you can you are using the framework. So whatever the framework name is, Laravel, CAC, PHP, whatever. You just need to use a slash in here to use the PHP existing class like that. So now the next line, what we'll do, we'll just uh, use the a uh, set flag method that is provided by SPL file object. We'll use this set flags, and in here I will just use the SPL and uh, file object that one and I will do a flag so there is a lots of four flags that you are seeing in here I will use the read CSV flag for take the CSV file and then so after that you will get the file in CSV format in here so now we are we can just uh, use a simple for each loop in here and I'm just using the file and key equal value and then I'll just give the name of my data so for that I'm using the list HP method and here I'm just assigning the name first one will be the name that means first value will be the name second will be the detail details and third one will be the price price that's all in this value So after that, our duty is to save. So we will save it in our product table. I already created a model for my product. So if you still not created, you can just follow this link, follow this console uh, command, PHP artisan make model like that. Model and product, the name of your uh, model name. So I already created this model for my database table uh, called product. So after here, I will just use this product model to insert this data. So for that, let's use the model in top. So we'll just give this uh, use app models in here. So don't forget it is in app folder, in models folder. If you are using the PHP um, Laravel version 8, they will create your models in models folder. Uh, before in uh, Laravel 7, I didn't see this option, but in 8, they will create a models folder and then they will keep the all model files in here. It's good to see. Okay, so then now we will go in here and we'll just save our data in here. So now we'll use the create method in here. You can use uh, some other method that Laravel provided, for example, fast or create. There's also some method. So I'll just use here the simple simple uh, create method in here create method and here in our database first one first variable is name second one is if you see in here second one is details and price and the final one is the price okay so we will assign the value in here for this array the first value will assign by name second will be the details and final one will be the price okay so after give that after semicolon i'm just saving it if everything is okay so we can just give a command that uh, a print data has like this. Okay. 
So if there, uh, if you face any problem, for example, if a, a line uh, has a problem and when a error will occur, then this uh, execution can be filed and it can be give you a exception. So you can use the try catch in here to avoid or skip this ex exception. Okay. So after save. So now we'll, uh, the data will be saved. So before that, let's open our product.php in here. So you can see that in here, I just give use the guarded ID. So that means our ID field actually auto increment. So auto incremented primary key. So we don't need to send our ID from uh, this uh, uh, PHP file. So after save, let's uh, execute our command in here. Let's go in here. So I'm just typing here PHP article insert insert our CSV. So before that, go in here. You can see there is no any data. So after give the command, then you can see data has saved. And if you go in here and see the output, you can see data is in now in here. So this is a very simple tutorial that how you can insert your CSV data in your database table. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Welcome for the next tutorial.